Previously on Beauty and the Geek, the geeks went from drab to fab in the Great Geek Makeover. But not everyone was head over heels about their new look. I feel like a sellout. Why do you feel like a sellout? Say me. Say what I'm about. At the challenge, Matt and Letitia's steamy soap opera performance blew away the competition. But a twist at the stair ceremony left one team off the hook. You don't have to pick anyone to send the elimination. <laughs> now, the bad news is the four remaining teams are going to have to decide which team will be headed to the elimination room next week. After creating a challenge of their own, a geek drag show, the beauties picked Joe and Tara to be put up for elimination. Oh, wait, we're going to elimination. <laughs> Only six teams remain on the quest to become more than just a beauty and a geek. Haunted. I mean, this is an old house. We've heard a few weird sounds coming from different rooms. I keep seeing lights flicker on and off and doors open and close. I'm going to bed. Good night. Well, I had a dream that this ghost came up to me and she was like making this weird gurgling sound. Tara and I had discussions about some of her fears of the paranormal. She was spooked and she was scared. Several times she'd had a nightmare and she tried to wake me up. Unfortunately, I sleep like a log and I was no help to her then. There was no elimination, so we decided that we had to do something fun in this house. We need to hide you now. You stay here. Tara had said that there was a ghost here, um, and so we thought it was cute to dress Tom up as a vampire and have him like go in her room in the middle of the night. So we snuck into her room while she was sleeping and just, you know, it was going to be kind of like a funny joke. You guys aren't seriously doing this. I really felt like they were bringing harm to a completely innocent girl in all of this. So I did stand up. Joe, it's funny. It's not a joke to me. <laughs> Joe, we're just trying Come to Come on, yeah. I still don't think this is fun, guys. You can leave, then you ain't got to watch. Bye. You know, it's that room. simple. Are y'all listening to y'all? Are you kidding me? Get out. Joe jumps about the bed like he's her man or something. Get Y'all ready? Are you Come touching on. me? Get out. Are you serious? You're just obsessed with her, and it's obvious. You will rue this day, Randy. I will. You will rue. How about you rue your day. ass in the bed and quit talking to me? Rue that. You will reap <laughs> your soul. Okay, now you're the devil. Yeah, get your devilish ass in the bed, then. <laughs> you're just really jealous. You're not phasing anybody. I'm not trying to phase you. You're trying hard, and it's not phasing me. This whole thing started with me and the way I was dressed. What seemed like such a little innocent thing, all of a sudden we got swear words okay. flying around. We got people. Oh, yeah stepping in each other's faces. This yes, whole time, you have not been acting like this girl's partner. What kind of partner are you? You're not a partner. You're all about yourself. Randy was very insulting. I tried to keep my calm as long as I could. But in such a critical time, I lost my patience. So we talking about we're going to rule today? You can you know. Oh, oh, what? Randy, it's okay. Oh, he's looking to get on me. Because I promise you. I didn't know that people actually, like, spit on each other in real life. I thought it was just, like, Jerry Springer. No, he tried to, and the bitch would have spit on me. I would whoop your fat ass, you fat bitch. Hey, whoa. Why would you act like that, Don't Joe? tell me. I'll push your big ass over that balcony, bitch. You spit again, I promise you I'm not playing with you. 
He is every bit of lucky that that damn loogie didn't touch me. I really don't understand it. I feel really bad about Joe and how Randy says all those mean things to him. Joe was completely in the wrong to spit. There's no question about that. But Randy was going on a tirade. He was in the wrong and she was in the wrong. It's definitely not one-sided. Joe and Randy are going to you to bite me and spit on her. What? Yeah. Joe spit serious? on Randy. I'm not the most lucid person when I wake up. All I hear is there's like vampires and then spitting and I'm like, what is going on? And then for some reason I thought somebody peed on me. I couldn't help feeling like it was mostly my fault. So I felt the responsibility to talk to Joe and say, listen, you need to at some point apologize to Randy for what you did. And then everybody came down, and I was just thinking, this is not the right time for all this to happen. I just didn't feel right about it, so I had to defend, so I stood for what I thought was right. We're playing. We're trying to have fun. If you want all this against me, we didn't do it. Please do. Well, you don't agree with what, though? We weren't doing anything. I didn't agree with the joke. OK. Yeah. And that's not your wife, no, and you're, you're not her husband. You're entitled. Randy, when I want your opinion. You ain't got to I'm giving No, if you don't spit it, nobody. That's the nastiest thing you could ever do. You better trying to slap me to spit on me. I know. I don't, don't give a damn about you trying to stress. I have no pity for your ass. Trust me, I don't. We have to live with each other, and we have to treat each other with respect, and you should apologize to Randy. He got to apologize you're... to me. That ain't gonna mean nothing to me. Good, because I refuse to. You lucky I don't whoop your ass. How about that? Call the Lord. Keep yeah, you better talk. call him. Keep talking. So are you serious? He said that spit on me with the Bible in his hand. So therefore, I'm not throwing Joe no more pity parties. I'm not doing it. We are not your mama. We not your daddy. Nasty ass. First night, Randy versus Amber. Drag queen. You need to lose some weight. Talk to me then. Anorexic bitch. Now Randy versus he Joe. Who is the that? next one going to be with? Tom? He know right from wrong. You a grown man. And it's taking a whole lot out of me. Randy, stop. Randy, no, stop. Randy, stop. Right now, stop. It's not stop. You pick on this kid I pick all on him. day I long. pick on him. He deserves Are you serious? the right to be upset with No. You. For what? He spit on me? It doesn't even matter. You're acting it like he really matter. spit on it you. It doesn't matter. What? Let me spit on you. You're going to think I'm wrong, right? No, Try. Really He's wrong for spitting. Are you serious? He is. He's not right. Okay. You, you, you don't get it, do you? You really don't no, get it. No, you do. You. Do you? I, you know what? I feel sorry don't. for you. Don't feel sorry for you. Feel sorry for yourself. You're pathetic. I'm no, you're, pa you're even more pathetic. You have to live with it. The only thing that really does make me angry is when people pick on people that are unfortunate and geeky. So I lashed out on Randy. Now I feel like we're permanent targets, and I don't really know how to fix that. That wasn't right. I'm not going to pretend it was. I ain't going to pretend that what I did was a good thing. I said, I'm not a good person. I'm not going to pretend I am. Yes, you are. Obviously, you are. I mean, you wanted to protect me. I thought that was really cool. She provokes anger and emotion out of all of us. <sighs> Sorry. Sorry, there's no reason to be sorry. It's not fair that someone like you should have to hear things like that. Joe, don't be upset. You know, we're a team. All I know is I've done everything I can, and I just don't know how much more I got left. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Hi. I know there's been a little drama in the house, but we have a big day today. Letitia and Matt, mm -hmm. Randy and Greg, you had your big night out on the town. <laughs> and the four other teams had to mark one team for elimination this week. So who's it going to be? All right, Joe and Tara, it looks like you guys are destined for the elimination room. But there's one thing you should know that could change that. If either one of you win a challenge this week, you will both be safe from elimination. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Where did, you, where did you get this idea? The weight has been lifted from our team. This is definitely a turning point from which we can uh, continue to, to fight on and use this as an opportunity to sort of redeem myself. So, let's get to this week's challenges. Beauties, you're going to be studying about arithmetic. Now, I will reveal the exact nature of your challenge tomorrow. 
Now, geeks, you've been hanging out with these very hot women. You're gonna encounter a whole new level of hot when you become firefighters. <laughs> yeah, firemen are really hot. I always thought they were cute. I've gone out with a few. <laughs> Greg, I can't tell whether you're excited or horrified. What's going on? Are there going to be hot firefighters there? <laughs> I can work on that. Because Matt broke his clavicle during the football game, he cannot compete in this challenge. Go, 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 It's not safe, and you can't do it. The clavicle thing is its a really frustrating thing for me because I really want to prove to Letitia that I'm a strong person and I'm capable of getting us far in this game. Letitia can take his place in the challenge. I think it was obvious that we're going to let Letitia do this. We're here so that everybody can compete and try to do his or her best. Oh, I love fire and smoke. I felt like this challenge was definitely tailor-made for me. Now. As usual, your study materials right over there on the wall that'll get you ready for your next challenges. I will see all of you tonight. the firefighter challenge and you know there's a building on fire over to the side barrels of fire all around us fire trucks there's smoke basically i just got more and more and more excited being there when i first saw the building it was a moment of being caught up in the reality of what was going on if we can't win then we're going to elimination i fell out of a really big tree when i was a kid seeing that high rise building just brought up that tree again and all those memories and oh my goodness, please don't have me save Amanda from a burning building and then jump out. Well, hey everyone. Welcome to the LA County Fire Department Training Facility. And guys, you're gonna become heroes. All right, here's how it works. First, you'll have to put on a full firefighter uniform. Next, you'll have to attach a line to a hydrant. Then, carry a charged 40-foot hose to the building. You'll have to extinguish a fire barrel. Then you go up the fire escape, through a window, rescue your beauty, and then encourage her to leap two stories down onto the safety cushion below. The geek who saves his beauty in the shortest amount of time wins. I honestly had doubts if this challenge was within me. Is this something I could do at the wall? I'm excited. In the back of everyone's mind was, oh man, is the girl going to come out and just destroy us all in this hero challenge and make us look like even bigger geeks? Guys, Letitia, are you ready? Ready. Then let's go, because it's about to get really hot out here. Geek Engine 4B, we have a structure fire. Joe? Go rescue Tara. 148 on scene. Tower, I see you. It was crucial for me to have an incredible showing in this challenge. And that being said, it takes a special kind of fella to run into a burning building. Save me, Joe! Help When lives are on the line, everything you do sort of moves in a, in a certain slow motion and time seems accelerated infinitely. Joe! Hurry! Joe! Hurry, Joe! Hurry! By the time I was halfway up the ladder, I was really starting to feel winded. I was really starting to hurt out there. I think the true testament of a hero is being no. able to be selfless. Stay with me. This wasn't about me. It was about me doing it for Tara. It's not natural for a man to jump out of a second story window. I desperately want to win this challenge. I desperately need to win this challenge. Are you okay, Joe? 
I'm extremely proud of Joe. Considering what happened the night before, I thought that he wouldn't want to put that much effort into anything. It gives me motivation, too. Well, I see we have one rescue from the building. Greg, help me! Please come help me! Where you at? Geek Engine 4B, we have a structure fire. Greg, you must rescue Randy in under 4 minutes and 40 seconds to take the lead. I'll save your weave! <laughs> Greg is like one of the girls. Like, you might as well made me do it. Save me! Oh, my God! Help me, please! Help me! Ah! Wait. It felt like a gazillion years putting on that uniform. Oh, my God. Hurry up and come save me! Oh, my God. Where did you get a Wait. <laughs> what is it? I couldn't find the end of the hose. And then I realized, no, that's like the fake hose. Oh, I'm an idiot! Help me, where you at? Please come help me. Where you at? No, I don't want to die. Oh, thank you. Oh, go. Hiya. I've never felt like a hero in my life. The firefighting challenge definitely taught me to face my fears. I do appreciate more what a fireman does. That was fun. Oh, there's Jason. Jason! Jason, you have to beat Joe's time of 4 minutes, 40 seconds in order to take the lead. Good luck, and go save Christina. <laughs> Jason, come help me! Faster! I'm burning! It took him a long time to put on that outfit. My biggest problem was jumping out the building. I was completely nervous. This is absolutely something I would have never thought I could do. Are you okay? Well, good, good. Have an okay. A part of me thought Jason was very athletic. I was just disappointed because I really thought Jason had a great shot at winning the challenge. Honestly, I'm surprised that I'm still alive. I did the jump wrong, didn't I? What the shot? What the shot? Going into the fire challenge, we're actually feeling pretty good. She's a very competitive person, so we're feeling she could actually do pretty well. Geek Engine 4B, we have a structure fire. Letitia, Joe's time of 4 minutes and 40 seconds is still the best. Save Matt in less time, and you'll be the new leader. I'm on the roof! I'm on the roof! Oh! You can save me, darling! Fire! There's a fire! Hooking the hose up to the fire hydrant was the most frustrating thing to me because I couldn't screw it on. Top of the building! Help! Attention! Help! I kept thinking about time. Time, time, time. It's gone. It's slipping, it's slipping. Letitia! Letitia! Save me! Letitia! I knew at that point that we didn't have a shot because of my holdup with the hydrant. Help! Please! I feel like I disappointed myself. In real life, Matt would have been dead already. Help me, Letitia! 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 The geek who saves his beauty in the shortest amount of time wins. Geek Engine 4B, we have a structure fire. Chris, the time to beat is still Joe's four minutes and 40 seconds. Go save Kara. I was excited. There was nothing fear related about this challenge at all. I was completely comfortable doing everything. Athletically, I felt that people like Tommy were not going to be able to perform quite at the level that I was capable of. Hurry, hurry, hurry. I'm not running fast enough. Go! Go! Ah! Ah! Chris, jump! Yay! Woo-hoo! I'm just 
saying it loud and strong since I began. I'm in the strongest position to win these challenges. Tom, come get me, please, help me. Heroism could be a lot of different things. I have this book, The 100 Rules for Life, and my personal favorite, rule number 74 is be someone's hero. And I was like, this is my chance to do it. Geek Engine 4B, we have a structure fire. Tommy? Chris has set a new record time of three minutes and 29 seconds. You're the final geek. If you don't beat his time, he will win this challenge. Good luck, and go save Amanda. Back at the hose pump. Oh, man. I just started freaking out and I was like, okay, where's the hose? Where's the hose? I'm gonna lose this whole thing because of the hose. Where the heck is the hose part? Help, Tom, don't forget I'm up here. Help. At that moment, I thought back to like my dad. He always says to me, God gave me speed. So I tried to run as fast as I could, like I'm doing this. Well, now that was a scorching hot challenge. All right, the winner of the Geek Fire Drill is Tommy. The challenge was tough. I was just happy that Amanda and I were safe. Congratulations, Tommy. You won the Geek Fire Drill Challenge. That means you and Amanda are now safe from elimination. It was intense. It was a big emotional drain. It was a physical drain, and this sucks. For the rest of you, there is still one immunity up for grabs. That's tomorrow at the Beauties Challenge. See you tomorrow. It's all right. It's OK. You know, the joke loss, but I can still get us with the math. We won, which is great. And I thought to myself, rule 74. Be somebody's hero. I hate math with a passion. Me too. The next morning, we all grabbed our study materials to start studying, and right away I opened the book and see all these theorems and quadratic equations, and I was not excited at all. Doing 11 times 11 is? 22. Confused. You can prove Pythagorean theorem like a billion ways, and I haven't done it in a very long time. I could potentially do it if any of you guys are interested, but I don't think they're going to. So really, we can. Math is like impossible to do with no sleep, and so I decided to get some sleep. Did I read the book? Yeah, I read some of it, but it was stupid. Man, I don't mean to shoot down whoever picked it up, but it was stupid. It didn't make any sense. You need help? Nope. It's extremely important for me to win my challenge. I don't want to be the one responsible for sending us again into elimination. I have to win. Today we went to our challenge, the girls' challenge, and it's like some weird landfill slash recycling place. We're standing in front of like this garbage truck. The smell was like a bunch of little animals that died and were rotting. This truck pulls away and there's this huge pile of a bunch of people's crap. I almost throw up. I was like, oh, Lordy, they're not going to make us touch it, are they? It's not like it was like clean trash. It was like actual trash from like a dump. Yeah, I just love the smell of garbage in the morning, don't you? No. No? Oh, I'm gag. Ew. Today, you're going to do your part to save the planet. You're going to use your knowledge of math and that gigantic pile of trash to do it. Mixed into all that trash are aluminum cans, plastic bottles, and glass bottles. 
you're gonna dive into that mountain and search for those recyclable items. The aluminum cans are worth three cents, the plastic bottles are worth seven, and the glass bottles are worth 10 cents. It is your job to collect exactly $5 worth of recyclable material. It has to be exactly $5, no less or no more. The beauty who collects $5 worth of recyclable material in the shortest amount of time wins the challenge. Now Tara, the stakes are particularly high for you because Joe didn't win the challenge last night, which means you have to win this challenge to keep the two of you out of the elimination room. How are you feeling about this challenge right now? It stinks really bad. So now, ladies, it's time to get dirty, suit up, and good luck. Thanks. My whole thing, I was just focused on getting 31 cans in a bottle. That's a dollar. 31 cans in a bottle. That's a dollar. I, I didn't have any strategy. I just was like, go in there and don't pick up the aluminum cans because they look the dirtiest. My strategy was to dig through that trash to find different bottles to make $5. All right, on your mark, get set, go. Oh, I can't run. Every single thing I touched, some of it was like mushy. Oh my God, it's not so bad. <laughs> I was gagging and coughing and I mean I just but I didn't want to be like not cute, you know, so I was like Pleh. I was kind of a total mess out there, but there's a saying that's smooth wait fast. What was the first part? Slow is smooth, and smooth is fast. I don't know why it's a quote. I still don't understand it. I think I have five. Stop. Stop. Everybody stop. Kara screamed, oh, I think I have five. And I was like, damn it. Wow, that sucks. The beauty who collects exactly $5 worth of recyclable material wins the challenge. I think I have five. Stop, I stop, think... everybody stop. All right, let's find out. When I looked down at what Kara had in her little pile, I was like, Psst. You do not have $5. Darn. Back to work, ladies. Oh I got five, I got five, I got five. Thank you. I knew I had five dollars. I knew that. I'm not stupid. I knew that if I was off, it was by a canyon. You did not have five dollars, continue. I was just like, you know what, I give up. I can't do this anymore, I can't breathe. There's so many germs in my body right now. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die tomorrow. Five dollars, five dollars. Okay, it's Letitia and then Christina. Let's see how we did. You do not have five dollars. All right, now let's see how Christina did. Christina, you have exactly five dollars. You win. Oh my god, I won a challenge that involved garbage. Like, awesome. <laughs> oh, it was the most disgusting thing I have ever done. All right, Christina, that means that your team is safe from elimination. I'm sure Jason will be very excited to hear that news. I should tell you that Letitia, 
you were three cents off one aluminum can. That sucks to just have one can. I would have honestly rather have been like totally off than just one can away. Now, unfortunately, Tara, this means that you and Joe will be headed to the elimination room. I felt really guilty because I know Joe bust his bum for me, but um, ew, it was so gross. It will be up to Christina and Jason and Amanda and Tommy to decide who that other team is. All right, ladies, you can head back to the house and get all cleaned up, and then I'll see all of you at the stair ceremony. Boys, we're home. Hello. Hey, guys. Where are you? Knowing that Joe and I are up for elimination, it's scary. It was so gross. There was a huge mound of trash. It's like big trash. It was disgusting. OK, do you do good? That's yeah. great. She told me in like the calmest manner. Like, oh, I won. If I came back, well, like, yes, I won. I killed it. I did it. Knocking crap over. I plan on breaking a lot of things, but so far I've not won anything. But I have to take a shower because I'm disgusting. You look fine. No, I'm like, we've been digging in trash. I'm taking a shower. Carol didn't win. I knew on one hand that frustrated her. But on the other hand, I knew she went out there with a tenacity and a fire that could not be extinguished. Oh, my little pony. Yeah. We have to meet. We have to meet right now before and pick one more person. Do we have to say to one other team? The four of us met to discuss the team that we would now have to send into the elimination room against Joe and Tara. I love Chris and Kara way too much. I like Randy honestly. and Greggy too. It came down to are we going to choose Chris and Kara? Greg and Randy, and Matt Letitia. Let's eliminate teams who haven't shown signs of progress. This is either a wake-up call to get you to win the next challenge, or it's... Yeah, that's perfect. I think you should say that. <laughs> I didn't say anything. I don't know if it... It just sounds weird. It just sounds like it's a bunch of crap. Even though as much as it hurts to send people in, I don't think people should try to sugarcoat things. It was kind of like we were just coming up with an excuse. Amanda was thinking that we have to think about the people that we want to go up against and get rid of the strong people now. But then, like, I end up feeling bad for people. Like, I can't be mean to people. And mean people really stick out like a sore thumb around here. <laughs> well, welcome to this week's stair ceremony. As you guys know, Joe and Tara, you have already been marked for the elimination room. Now it is time to find out who you will be competing against. Have you guys conferred and decided who you want to send to the elimination room? We've made a decision. The team we chose has not yet shown as much improvement as other teams. Uh, Tara and Joe are going to be going against Greg and Randy. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like I've made a drastic change since day one. And obviously, Greg has made a very drastic change. I totally that. think, as a team, like, we've tried our hardest. Our hardest. And, like, I've, you know, I'm totally out of my element. I know how hard we busted our butts. So, I mean, that's your opinion. And, I mean, opinions are for everybody. If I don't get to say my goodbyes and stuff like that, um, I love all of you. Oh, thank, and, you. thank you. <laughs> thank you. I, it's an honor. I never thought, like, I could fit in with the Yanks or beauties like this and I look at every single one of you and I know that I made a good connection with each and every one of you. Greg, please know that I take no pride in having to go to the elimination room with you. Yeah, bit. Well, you will get your chance to say some goodbyes. You'll be able to head upstairs, pack your stuff, do a little extra studying if you have time, and then I will see the four of you down in the elimination room. See you later. I knew I was going because I'm a threat to everybody in this house. My personality just basically overshadows all of them because they, they don't speak up for themselves. You know what I'm saying? That's not my problem that y'all were raised to sit down and shut up and be quiet. You know that I, did, I would never want to send Greg in. But Randy just was such a detriment to him the other night. I know everyone was against Joe, but Randy was like horrible. Well, it takes two to fight that way. Just because she didn't stab Joe doesn't mean she made 100% improvement. It was poetic justice for Randy to go against Joe in the elimination room. 
So you eliminate one of them, the conflict dies. The unfortunate part was about Greggy. He is, just did not deserve that. They had to make a choice. After the fight, I can totally understand um, why they chose us. Nobody was in our room, and it's like we have a stigma now, Joe and I. I hear people all the time say they don't like Joe and they don't want Joe in the house. I mean, I just see people's like sad faces and. <laughs> Stupid Joe. Tara was getting emotional, I think, because the reality was starting to sink in. Remember what you told me? No matter what happens, we're going to be okay. Yeah, I know. Thank you. Hey, Tara, we're going to go out as a team. Okay, thank you. But after seeing her face tonight, I will fight on to my dying day for her. Elimination room tonight. When y'all see me tomorrow, Joe's big, fat, nasty, sloppy ass to be gone, I'm not gonna play with him. This is not gonna be a regular elimination. This is gonna be like a shootout at the OK Corral. You know, the Battle of Gettysburg, or the Great Battle of Good versus Evil, the Battle of Versailles, the Battle of Waterloo. Greg and Randy, Joe and Tara, welcome to the Elimination Room. Here's how it's gonna work. I'm gonna ask the beauties one question about math. Geeks, I'm gonna ask you one question about heroes. The first team to answer a total of three questions correctly stays in the game, chance to win $250,000. The losing team, it's goodbye, and you're out of the game for good. First question, beauties. Here we go. If Lindsay Lohan goes to rehab three times a year for the next four years, how many times will she go to rehab in that amount of time? Tara. 12. That is correct. Geeks, hands on your buzzers. This is a multiple choice question. According to your material, who first said courage is going from failure to failure without losing enthusiasm? Thomas Edison, Winston Churchill, or John Wooden? Joe. Winston Churchill. That is correct. Score, now two to zero. So Tara, what that means, if you get this answer correct, you and Joe are staying in the game. So Randy, it's important you get this one right to keep you and Greg in the game. What number do you get if you subtract the minimum age you have to be to vote in federal elections from the minimum age you have to be to purchase alcohol in the US? Randy. Three. That is correct. Very clutch. So now it is two to one. Randy, that was incredibly clutch. Oh, Good job. You. Now, Greg, it's still very important though. You've got to get this next one right because if Joe gets it right, they stay in the game and they send you guys home. All right, Joe, Greg, hands on your buzzers. Name three different actors who played James Bond and a James Bond movie that corresponds to each of them for a total of three different actors and three different movies. Joe. Sean Connery. Dr. No. I forfeit my other two answers. I can't think of them in my head. That's time. Greg, you can steal it if you'd like. Nothing? Okay, that's time. We will go to another geek question. Joe, you get this one right. You stay in the game. Who played the classic anti-hero Tony Soprano in the HBO series, The Sopranos? Joe. James Gandolfini. That is correct. Congratulations with three correct answers. You and Tara are staying in the house. Tara, what's going through your mind right now? I don't feel so good. <laughs> it's all right. Oh, Tara. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's okay. It's all right. I'm good. Don't worry about it. We all right. <laughs> I still feel bad about what I've done against Randy, and, and I just still hope you can forgive me for what I've done. Joe, if you were serious, you would have said it a long time ago. Don't wait to eliminate. Try to apologize about something you ain't want to apologize about yesterday or the day before that. So. I hope that you someday you learn to forgive me. Save your breath. Well, Tara and Joe, you guys can head back upstairs. Let them know that you are still in the game. To everybody else, I'm sorry. To a kiss, I love her. Greg, Randy, I have to ask you to leave the mansion, but good luck. I don't think that they 
there was nothing wrong with me in the beginning. The most that can be said is, oh, Randy cusses a lot and she has a tendency to be very opinionated. I mean, that's not gonna change. That's gonna always be me. I feel like I've pretty much helped change everybody in the house in their own way. You know, everybody has progressed. Well, not everybody. I came into the house and I didn't really know how to label myself. I am a gay geek and I'm a cool gay geek. I just feel comfortable with myself now and I know who I am. I've made a lot of progress since I've gotten here. I really wanted to learn how to be loud and I couldn't have asked for a better beauty. Randy, you really helped me to, you know, come out of my shell and really, you know, just go out there and be loud and just I'm be not. goofy and not be so conscious about everything. Because you I didn't slap Joe and I didn't go to jail, so that's always a good thing. <laughs> I don't fight as much anymore. So I guess we'll be talking. We are. Yes. I just love me some Greggy. Next on Beauty and the Geek. You're all going to Big Bear. <laughs> After a week of heat, it's time for the beauties and geeks to cool off. Ah! <laughs> what you say? What you say? It's fun and romance at a luxurious lodge. <laughs> and one couple's journey ends with an early ticket home. I now have to ask you to leave the lodge, but best of luck. Felt like a big slap in the face to me.